Hi there, my name is Glenn Cooper. I'm a structural engineer and I work for Avatar Engineering. But you will probably have heard of me because I write a weekly blog on buildingmadesimple.blogspot.co.uk um, all about starting your own business as a, as a structural engineer and um, the trials and tribulations that go with that. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about this little beauty. I um, bought it about three, three and a half weeks ago, and it's an, ex it's an ex very expensive toy. Uh, I'm very, very lucky to have it. Um, but when I bought it, I decided that I was going to uh, justify it by using it for my business. You heard right, it's not an expensive toy. It's actually a business tool for me. Um, and I suggest if you're going to justify it to your partners, your bosses, or your wives, you use the same uh, same wording as well. So. Um, um, the reason why I bought one of these is because it syncs really well with my iPhone and I can view all the files which come through my business, all the project files really easily, which are all based basically on the cloud. As you can see here, if I just zoom in here for my um, projects from last year and also uh, all the projects which I've got coming on this year as well, which is um, it's been uh, a really, really good year for me so far. But this is not the app that I want to talk to you about today. What I wanted to talk to you about actually is this app here. It's called Sketchbook Pro. Okay, and I just want to demonstrate to you how amazingly useful um, that this piece of kit and the app that goes with it um, uh, is. As you can see, actually, here's, a, here's something which I've done earlier. Um, the more observant of you will realize that this is uh, the drawing that I used for my very latest blog post about uh, chartered engineering, uh, chartered engineer, incorporated engineer, and the engineering status. Um, so I'll come out of that. Okay, and we're in the gallery, which is normally what you start off with when you start with this uh, program. As you can see, I've got lots of um, um, sketch details here. I've been very, very busy. And I've been using it really on my um, on my jobs now, whether I've been on site or whether I've um, when I've been home and actually uh, able to spend a little bit of time drawing up the details. I've used this bit of kit uh, to use uh, to save myself on having to print on um, paper. So I've actually taken quite a huge leap towards being a paperless office because of this tool. And I want to very, very quickly show you one um, sketch detail that I've been doing for a project. It was just a few days ago. And um, if I go into the main program here, uh, when you hit the um, edit button, you actually uh, launch the, uh, the full program. And, and you can see all the tools which are around here. The, uh, you can see that we've got a pencil tool here, we've got a pen, We've got a paint tool, highlighter tool, all pretty standard stuff if you've used any art programs or software like this in the past. But this is actually very, very, um, uh, this is a quality program because it allows you to build up layers, even though it looks like it's just been, uh, looks like this drawing, you know, I've just pretty much sketched it out on my, um, on my company headed um, calc page, as you can see there. Um, in fact, what this is, this is probably about six layers, and I'll demonstrate this to you. If I just go into here and go into the layers area of it, you'll see something appear on the right hand side, and here it is. Here are all the layers which I've used to build up the image, and it allows me to be able to take, uh, or to be able to draw and erase without having to erase the main image which is in the background, which is my calc page, which I've managed to, uh, well, managed to get onto this program. This is something, um, if you've used this tool, you probably won't know how to do, and I just want to very quickly show you how to do it. Now, if I turn off all these layers here, or layers which um, happen to be above the calc pad or the background layer, um, and also all I, all I go, and uh, as you can see, it's just a um, a basic uh, calc page which uh, I can draw over, uh, create a new layer. Uh, you know, it's um, it's exactly the same as what I would use if I was doing it by hand, but it's all on my iPad. Uh, so therefore, obviously, I can PDF this, and I can email it over to my clients. I can do it while I was on site, uh, just to prove that I've been on site, or to show a build or a detail. Uh, email it to him right there and then. That is how quick it is. And how I managed to get this on this screen is is very simple. All you need to do is when you go into the layers, you'll notice that down here you've got a little button which allows you to you import 
photos from the library. Now, um, the trick is to get a photo of your calc pad, uh, your normal kind of company details, into the program. And it's very easy on an iPad as long as you've got a um, as long as you've got a PDF or a um, some kind of image of it, uh, like on an Excel. A PDF will be perfect, though. Well. And that's exactly how I built. If I just cancel this, this is exactly how I built this. It's an Excel file. I PDF'd it very easily on Windows. It's uh, you know as a PDF print, and then opened it on my. Um, well, basically opened it on my box area here. So if I go into my business and I've got a little area called templates, okay, and you can see that my calc sheet here, which was PDF'd, see it's all looking rather nice, see? This is PDF, and all I done was I aligned it, got it really, really close to the size that I needed, so it was, um, well, virtually identical to the size that I needed, Okay, and then I took a picture using the shortcut tool, which holds the which you hold the top button and the enter button. Oh, not quite right there. Hold on, you hold the top button and then the enter button, and it takes a picture, just like that. Now that picture is in my photo uh, library, and and if I go back into Sketchbook Pro, all I have to do is. Let's just say I want uh, uh, say I wanted to use it on this layer. I'll just go to my photo library, okay, and there it is, right there. Okay, and obviously I don't want to do this, so I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is come out of this gallery and don't save. Okay, brilliant. Now. I'm going to go back into the same same edit that I was playing around with. Okay, so now you know how quickly and easily it can be done. Um, what you do is you you just use that to um, replicate that as you know, copy that across and create as many of these as you want, so that um, you've always you've got a, a brand new template to use every single time. And as you can see, um, I use the same process. To import over, and if I uh, if I turn off all the other f um, the layers so you can see this a little bit clearer, I use exactly the same process to get a PDF which was issued to me by an architect so that I can draw over it for my uh, um, for my client and the builder and the architect to see exactly where my steel beams were going to go, put my notes on, and this, believe it or not, was a f again a PDF which I took a photo of. Okay, and it just imported in, and you can see all I done was um, it, w it would have been obviously a lot larger, a lot more, um, a lot more detail on what I needed. So once I got it there, I just took the eraser tool, okay, just took the eraser tool, and I, and um, oh crumbs, let me just make sure it's on there. There you go. That means I can use that layer, and all I done was erase what I didn't want, okay, and I've done that all the way round. Uh, the whole of the PDF, so that all I had was the image left, which I needed to use for my sketch. Now, if I just undo what I just done there, okay, and uh, go into my layers again, and I'll turn on all the rear layers. As you can see, it all builds up, and then obviously my other layer, which is my, um, as you can see, is hatching appearing there, and then all my main lines layer, which is showing all the uh, the level of detail and the beams. And then I've got another layer here which shows all the additional details, like here, detail A, detail B, which I need to be able to kind of isolate that layer and change that at will. And obviously, right at the top, the very last one I always have is... Oh, crumbs, I didn't want to do that. Let me just undo that. And the very last one, which is the job information, which means that if I keep that on a separate layer, I can just continually using the same calc pad again and again and again and just put in the... Um, you know, just rub out uh, perhaps who done it, um, the name of the sheet or the date that it come across, and I can reuse an awful lot of the information. And I can PDF this. Hold on, if I come out of here, I we'll come out of this, uh, go into gallery, don't save. And all I do is go into this, and I can send it on to Facebook. I can send it on into my Dropbox or my Boxnet. I can tweet it. I can email it, which is what I normally do, okay, and I email it as a PDF, straight to my clients, uh, or straight to my um, my PC at home, waiting for me at home, where I then turn that into a, a full-on email, so I can do it quickly, or I can do it through the normal route, and that 
is uh, what I wanted to show you, um, what I've been doing for the last few weeks, and um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I've got plenty more where that come from, but just remember, if you've got an iPad, or you're thinking of getting an iPad, this is a fantastic tool, uh, and Sketchbook Pro will uh, is worth every single penny, and I think it cost me £2.99. So, I'll speak to you very, very soon, and enjoy your time.